And we're filming. All right. Hey guys, this I'm the new member of EV Evolutions. My name is Joseph, and today I am with Wilbur, and we will be doing a quick intro video on most things that people have been asking us, and most people do not know how to do on Pixelmon because they are confused. All right. So first, we will be teaching them how to make a Pokeball. So to make a Pokeball you're going to need an anvil not a regular anvil um, a anvil that is used for pixel on uses so it's going to be this is how you craft it everything on the crafting table except for the middle right alright Wilbert say hi Wilbert unmute your mic and say hi Alright, he's mad at me. He doesn't want to talk. I'm a host. Oh, never mind. Alright, so you're going to place down this anvil. And what you're going to do is you're going to put this away because I don't need it anymore. Um, you're going to need cooked apricorns. As you see, I have cooked apricorns right here, but I have a regular blue apricorn. See, the way you get apricorns is you need to plant an apricorn tree which you use so you click to plant it and then uh, you have to wait for it to grow but if you don't want to wait you can speed it up a little with the whalmer pail now a whalmer pail can only be used on each apricorn once see now it's a baby apricorn on tree so we just gotta wait for that to grow and I'll show you how to craft the apricorn the whalmer pail in a second alright so first to cook an apricorn you are just gonna do the basic thing that you think you're just gonna toss it right in the furnace, all right, and it's gonna cook. Now, to, now to craft the whammer pail, it's three bones across the top, a bucket of water in the middle, and three iron across the bottom, all right. So you're gonna grab your whammer pail, and it gives you your bucket back, and then you grab it out. See, that's a whammer pail. You cannot use multiple whammer pails on the same apricorn tree. It does not work like that. For example, I'll try it right now. See, this is the new apricorn. This is the new whammer pail. I'm going to walk up to that tree. Sorry for the lag. I'm going to walk up to that tree. And I'm going to left click. And it looks like it's been well watered today, as it says in the chat. So that means that it's already been used. Uh, a whammer pail has already been used on that, on that Minecraft day. So now what you're gonna do for the Pokeballs is my is my apricorn should be done smelting. So what you need is iron discs. Now to make those, you can make them out of aluminum, which is on the Pixel on, on, or you can make them out of iron. If you make them out of iron, it gives you five iron discs. It's the crafting recipe is like that for both. And it, and if you do it out of aluminum, it only gives you three. But and to make the tops of the Pokeballs, I'll give you an example. You'll put three apricorns across like this. This is for regular Pokeballs. For like, gr for example, great balls are like this. And you just click like that. And boom. There's, there's Pokeballs. Okay. Now what you're going to need to, to form these from being discs to actual lids you are going to need a hammer which I will get some sticks for right now sticks no not stick, stick alright so to craft a hammer you need two sticks and any type of material even aluminum so to craft the hammer it's exactly like this alright so you take your hammer uh, I prefer using a diamond hammer because it gets it done the fastest. I will demonstrate using a diamond hammer and an iron hammer right now. So how to make the Pokeball? Well, what oh, crap? All right. So what happens is lag. That's what happens. All right. There we go. All right. So what happens is you're gonna take your Pokeball lid. Yeah, I'm gonna do it with the disc. Okay. First, you need to smash the di the iron disc. So you're gonna take your iron disc and you're gonna hammer it down. This is just me clicking and not holding it. And then to do the great balls, it's the same thing, but this is with the iron hammer. This is me holding it. Now, if I were to hold it with the iron, the diamond hammer, 
look how fast that goes. All right, so that's how you do that. Now to craft these, you are going to need um, a button. It has to be a stone button. So, button. So you grab a, you grab a button, and you go up to your crafting table. If this would stop lagging, and you're gonna take your what's it called? Where is it? Your Pokemon lid and your Pokemon iron base, and you're gonna put a button right in the middle. And the crafty recipe for every Pokeball is like that with the top iron base at the bottom, button in the middle, and then in the top. So Pokeball. All right. So next is going to be breeding. All right. Sorry for that interruption. I had to stop doing something. All right. So. I'm back to this. Alright, so now that we have our Pokeballs, we're going to move on to breeding. Pretend like you do not see this thing because it does not exist, right? What you're going to need for breeding is you're going to need this thing called a ranch block. Now, Wilbur just left the call. You, now, you use this ranch block, and it shows you all the maximum space you have it, or see, for breeding. And I'll show you how that matters in a minute. So, what I do is usually around, you see, let's see, oh, I'll click escape for a second. You see these squares? Well, I usually put it all the way down each square like that, like this, for example, if I, I think the square was here. And then any normal types you put in here will be able to breed comfortably in their environment. Now, a reason why a Pokemon will say it has a crush on this Pokemon but will not but is not comfortable in this environment is because your environment is not right for it and I will show you how that matters in a second let me just okay I'm not gonna finish this but that's what it'd be and what happens is, is I'm gonna put my two shine ha your Pokemon have to be in your PC and they have to be compatible alright so um, I'm gonna take these two dittos the shiny dittos I'll put them inside here and some questions that people have been asking is if if you breed two dittos what do you get well you get a randomized pokemon if the dittos are shiny there's a small chance i think it's like ten percent if that the pokemon is shiny that gets bred i mean ice was cold in our class um our, all right now i'm a cheater and i'm gonna use this um uh hourglass item to spam on this. It's only one time use, but since I'm in creative, I can use it multiple times. So, for example, um, let me just put this away. So, look at that ditto glitching out. It says ditto is attracted to ditto more every day. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to spam it there, and it's gone through five breeding stages, and the egg appears like that. Now, we'll prove. And then you go to claim egg. Alright. So, you have your egg. And how you do this is if I didn't have these fences, they wouldn't be able to breed. I will send you a link to what to put in your squares in order to make Pixelmon able to breed. You have to put a certain quantity. I don't know how many points it is, but just put it until it works. Alright, so in order to check what your egg is, you would put it in a trading machine. And I got an Umbreon. That is super lucky. Alright, so then we're just going to go back here, which means that in the Eagle Evolution race... Ace, I can I have one embryon. So now that, that that's all done, um, next we're gonna go to shrines. So most people, well, this is an apricorn tree. That's when it's done. You left click on it, and you get a blue apricorn, and then you wait for it to grow again. And I'm just gonna toss this out of my inventory. All right, for shrines, shrines are for spawning in legendary birds: Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. So you need a full orb, so you need 70, 375 kills to fill an orb uh, while it's in your inventory or hotbar. You need to kill 375 Pokemon. It does not have to be the type of the legendary. It could be any Pokemon. I suggest how, as if, if you have a, um, go to like an ocean biome or like a, or, I mean a river biome, and then you get ma and then you harvest off of magic cards. Or if you're playing on a local server like me, Wilbur, and Noah do. We will um, end up um, going to a place called the Grinder, where po a lot of Pokemon spawn. It's for leveling up, up your starters, but we use it for orb harvesting in Pokemon. 
and we're just calling me. Wilbert, we're in the middle of a video. Alright, we're on shrines, Wilbert. Alright, so I'm going to try and place it in this shrine, but it's not full. So it says orb is not full, but when the orb is full, it'll be put in that shrine, and I believe it takes some time, and then a Articuno will appear. Actually, no, I don't think it takes time. I think you put it in, and then you take a Master Ball, or whatever you want to put in, and you and you harvest your what's it called your uh pokemon all right so well now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause all right sorry for the interruption all right so now we're going to move on to cloning some people don't know how to clone muse or Mew their muse to get mewtwo's or dittos if a clone if to clone a mew you get a cloning machine when you clone your mew you most likely get a Mewtwo, but sometimes when it fails, you get a Ditto. So, clone... Wait. Alright, cloning machine. It's right here. Just toss this in there. So, now we're going to take this cloning machine. And we're just going to take it. We're going to place it down right here. Can't place it there. Just got to break some of that. Can't place it there. Why, where, why can't I place it? Oh, let me find it. Wait, I found an open space. All right. So right here looks like a good open space. All right. Let's just place it down right here. All right. So you see how it says insert mu there? Well, I'm going to do a command, which I'll explain. It's called slash pokey spawn. So pokey spawn mu. And if I want it shiny, I would go S. And then I'd go. And then if I wanted to pick the level, I'd, be, I'd go level. And then if I wanted it, uh, and then, oh, wait, level 100, alright, so, I just spawned in a Mew, okay, I'll show you in a second, I just need to grab a Master Ball to catch it, because I'm a cheater, um, where's this Mew, alright, there it is, it's shiny Mew, I'm just gonna keep throwing at it until I got it, alright, I got it, um, so now we're gonna go to this cloning machine, Alright, I got the achievement first legendary. So now we go to this cloning machine. And we're going to go up to it. You need to have an empty hand, I'm pretty sure. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your Mew inside here. And it's scanning it. And for another information on that Poke Spawn, do slash Poke Spawn. And then if you name a Pokemon, for example, um, Kyogre. And then if you want to be a boss, you do boss. And then if you want the color, I'm going to go yellow. Wait, invalid name. I spelled the color around slash. Pokey spawn. Um, Kyogre. Boss. Yellow. How do you spell Kyogre? Wilbur. I will pause for a second. Alright, so this should work. Um, I'm going to click... I'm sorry for the interruption. I'm going to click enter. Oh, crap. Sorry for that interruption, guys. Wilbur helped me out. <clears throat> um, thank you, Wilbur. Say hi, Wilbur. Oh, what up? Alright, so, oh, sla okay. so, the, so the command is slash pokey spawn. And then, the for, exa for the example, Kyogre. Like, like we don't. Um, boss. Alright, not shiny. Kyogre boss. boss. And then we're gonna do just the blue boss. So one one, one is green. No, no. It's together, it's together. Oh, okay. It's together. it's together. Well, one is green, two is blue, three is what are the other no wait. One is green, two is red, three is blue, and four is yellow. So let's just do a red boss. Okay, let's see. Where's this Kyogre? Hey, Alright, guys. So this is what happens when you kill a boss. It took me a while to kill that boss because it was overpowered. Alright, let me drop this TM. Alright, so what I forgot to mention for breeding is you need some kind of... You need some kind of, what do they call it? Callus. You need iron, gold... You need to place it in three times and it will start. 
Alright, um, it's processing. I'm gonna stop the video. Alright, I'm just gonna stop it right here and cut scene to it because we're running low on time. So just because it's a shiny Mew doesn't mean you'll get a shiny Mewtwo or a shiny Dill. But there's Mewtwo and it's running amok and I'm gonna just take this Master Ball and be like, and just go. So that's how you clone. Um, thanks for watching, subscribe, like, all that wonderful things, and I'd like to thank Wilbert for, for helping me out, and thanks guys.